How's it going? Yeah, you're good. Hey, Rob, this is Tashawn Reed from the Athletic. Uh, last year with the Steelers, I think you played you know, your most that you had in your career so far. Uh, what was that like just giving more playing time? I think toward the end of the season, you basically were a full time starter. Um, how do you think you grew as a player overall? Yeah, I, I've tried to progress throughout my NFL journey, not only as a player, but as a man. And uh, I think I've continually take the next right step, and that's what's important for me. What's that next right step? And that was uh, to come out here and sign with the, this opportunity. And I'm so excited to be here and to give this city and organization all that I have. So I continue um, on my journey, and I look forward to it. Robert Hondo Carpenter, I was talking to people in the Steelers, and so the last four games you played every snap on defense and on special teams. They talked about the fact you just don't like to come off the field. Will you talk about that mentality that you bring, please? Yeah, it's a mentality. You know, you grow up playing football, you play offense, defense, special teams, you play 100% of the snaps. You know, I played Chicago Catholic League style football my whole life, and that's hard nosed physical football. So I've built my body to be able to withstand uh, an NFL season, and I've proven that over the years. So I look forward to uh, continuing to show that. Yeah, they told me I was going to come in and give it the opportunity to be a green dot and to play and to really be a leader of this team. And I, I hope to come in and earn respect from not only my coaches, but from the teammates as well. And that's what's really important to me, come in here and earn respect. Uh, I don't expect anything to be given to me. I, I've earned my way in this league, and I continue to hope to do so. Robert Ryan Sakamoto, Dark Side East Rider. You filled in for Devin Bush once he tore the ACL week six against the Cleveland Browns. How much of an impact has that elevated your game, being the starter, um, playing alongside on the inside and having that green dot? Yeah, I love being a vocal leader on the defense. Uh, sometimes in this business, it's somebody's misfortune that gives you an opportunity to to perform. So when he went down, I was given the opportunity to step in and be that starting middle linebacker. And I felt like I, I took that and I ran with it. Um, I, I love going out there and playing. So I, I, I want to be on the field for every opportunity that I can be. And I fight to be on the field. So I'll, I'll continue to do that. You, were, you played um, the Raiders late last year, a pretty cold night in Pittsburgh. Um, Anything about that team, the, the Raiders, that you saw that uh, you know that, that resonated? Yeah, they're a hard-nosed, historic organization who does things the right way. And just being in the building today, I've felt that love, and uh, I felt strong connections already starting to build. So I'm very grateful for this opportunity. Rob, uh, I know you mentioned always wanting to take the right step. I'm sure that's a fair thing in just football. But as a player, what do you think is the next step for you in terms of taking your game? Yeah, I think uh, leadership is going to be big for me coming to a new team where, um, you know, you have to earn your way up the ladder. So I, I hope to do that early on and to show my teammates I'm here to win games. I'm here to win a Super Bowl. And that's uh, why I signed. I didn't sign just because it was a contract. I signed because I felt like this was the right opportunity and the right fit for me and my family. Robert, you mentioned this is a historic franchise. Can you kind of expound on that? what it means to be a Raider and maybe growing up, this is your memories of the Raiders and this is the mystique about this franchise. Yeah, this, this franchise has the silver and black. Uh, I went to Fenwick High School in Chicago. We, our colors were silver and black. Our, our jerseys were kind of a very similar style to the, the Raiders jerseys. So I've always dreamed about being a Raider. And uh, when given the opportunity, I knew that this was gonna be right for me. Robert, you're a very tough, instinctive linebacker. How much does game film help in preparing you each week? Game film is crucial. You have to understand tendencies, player personnel. Um, you have to understand situational football. So that's very important to understand and have an anticipation when it comes to play. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, when the ball is snapped, you got to go out there and do what you're supposed to do. Robert, Paul Gutierrez back here from ESPN. You and Max Crosby were in the same conference, different sides of the state, though, in Michigan. What do you remember about him uh, as a college player and then just watching his growth as well? Yeah, Max Crosby has always been a dominant force on the football field. I mean, his size, speed, and athleticism speaks for that. So 
Um, it was actually great getting to talk to Max last night, and uh, he gave me a call on the phone and congratulated me and becoming a Raider. He told me a fun story about when he was a, a, a freshman with Eastern Michigan, and I was on the punt team. We kind of got into a sort of a confrontation, <laughs> and he, he remembered this, and he, he shared the story with me, so we had some exchange of words for each other, and our respect for each other has only grown since. since you know, that I do, but I don't think it's. <laughs> <laughs> Rob. Q Myers, Greg Nation Radio 920. One video that's been floating around ever since you signed is the, the big hit you had on Derrick Henry. What is that like when that man's coming downhill and you hit him? <laughs> so I know Derrick. Um, I started my career with the Tennessee Titans as a tryout player. And Derrick is a, a special in individual, you know. You, you see him, they have him listed at what, 6'3", 230? He's not. He's 6'6", he's 260. So that's a tank of a human and he runs with it too, that type of force. So I knew given that opportunity, Devin Bush had just went down the game prior. It was my first game starting in the NFL in the city where I started at Nissan Stadium against a team that cut me a year prior. Um, it was a special moment for me, you know, my family got in a bus, rented a bus, 40 of them came down for that game, and, you know, still, they'll, they talk about that hit, how they heard it from the upper echelons of the stadium, <laughs> and it was the loudest hit that I've ever heard, so it was a special moment for me and my family, for sure. Rob, when, in being in Kalamazoo, when you were there and covering the Broncos a little bit, one of the things is you'd be up in the coaches' offices and the way that you could hear you yelling out on the field and just your emotion, your, you play with a ton of emotion. How much does that help you lead guys in being that way? Yeah, I, especially in this business, guys aren't gonna follow you if they sense you're fake. Um, guys have a really good radar of who's being real and the work, you can't fake the work. Um, I pour my heart and soul into this game, into my off season regimen to get ready for the season, so. This is a 365-day job that I take very seriously, and I think that comes across naturally to my teammates, and they have respect for that, as I have respect for guys that have similar like mentality. Robert, uh, Lee Rogers with the Las Vegas Raiders. Obviously, you've played this team uh, for the past two seasons in, with the Steelers. You know, what's your impressions of Josh Jacobs, and how much do you think he'll be able to push you in practice to be a better linebacker as well? Yeah, he's one of the top running backs in the game right now. Ever since coming out of Alabama, he's been highly touted and has lived up to expectations, exceeded expectations. So to be able to team up with him and to learn from him, I love working with a running back because you get to understand what their vision is like, how they're seeing the game. So at, at many points, I would work with Najee Harris with the Steelers. What do you see here? We bounce ideas off each other. How can I trick you to think that I'm coming from the left when really the pressure is coming from the right? So I, I hope to uh, really come friends with him and share those same sort of um, football I ideas. Robert, Harry Reeves with the Spanish Radio Broadcast. You being from Chicago, played in Pittsburgh the last four years, how hard is it going to be to adapt to a Vegas summer when you're going to be in training camp and it's 115? Yeah, I, I love the heat. Um, I do saunas every day. Um, I think those get up to 200 degrees, and that's something that I would look forward to, actually, coming out here and being in the heat. So, you know, I've been in Chicago, I've been in Michigan, I've been in Pittsburgh, and I'm ready. I'm built for the cold weather. Uh, I train <laughs> in the cold weather. I've played in many snow games, many freezing rain games, and I'm excited to show that I can play in the heat just like I can play in the cold. Alright guys, thank you.